Oh, brother. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got the burnout truck back at the shop. And unfortunately, last night, we were able to put the new built trans in it and due to planning and stuff that we left here i didn't have a camera with me so we didn't film that part but today what we're working on right now is putting the drive shaft back in i'm going to go over stuff that's under the transmission i'm going to go over what we did to the transmission how all that went down putting the trans back in what we changed about the drive shaft once we get the drive shaft in which s550 fix is under there tightening it up right now i'm going to go over what all's under the trans what you guys have missed in the past week while we've been waiting for this trans and what happened last night with us putting the trans back inside of the burnout truck but today hopefully we're going to be able to rip this thing and the trans is not going to slip and we're really going to be able to kind of send it it's still not tuned but we're, we're definitely going to let it rip so give me just a minute to finish this up and i'll explain everything that's happened all right so austin and s550 fixer over there still on the drive shaft because i was given the wrong universal joint so we had to take it back out and put the right one in but that's beyond the point what I want to talk about before we rip the burnout truck, we got the new transit. Like I said, I'm sorry that we didn't do a video on it. It was, we didn't do it here in this shop. We did it at Austin's actual shop. And where you, when you tear something down in one place and go to another place to do it, stuff gets left behind. All the filming gear stays here now and it wasn't transferred to there. And then the part, there was an issue with parts. So I'm sorry we didn't film that but the new trans is in there. I say new, it was built and rebuilt. So Norm's Garage in Roanoke, Virginia, you guys know that they did the cat eye trans. Robert Pratt is the guy that uh, owns that and he had did the cat eye trans. And if you're not familiar, you know, or if you've been on the channel for a while or you're new, that trans has been through hell. It's, I would say, mildly built 4L60. Um, it's just got the usual like wider bands, uh, and the Corvette servo and some other goodies. I have to pull the actual ticket to actually show what all was done to it. But I would, I would call it mildly. And it's held up to everything. That burnout, the 35s, the endless races. I mean, you name it, that thing's been through it. So, of course, when we needed to rebuild the burnout truck trans, there was nobody else I was going to other than Rob. He hooked us up. This trans is going to be wicked. So, inside of the transmission are springs. And that kind of, and it, it gives it, it's play on everything. Anywhere there was a spring, there's no more spring. There's no longer a spring. So it, there's no give to it. I mean, it's gonna be hard and it's gonna grab gears. And of course we did the usual, we got the 3000 stall converter in it. Usual Corvette servos, but we took out the play in it. So it's gonna let as much fluid as possible through it or much or as much pressure as possible, sorry, on the servo. Uh, we did the water band. Uh, the cage and the gear for second gear in reverse is like two and a half times thicker. He actually showed me the old one and the new one. And it is insane how you can upgrade the parts in these transmissions. And I'm an advocate for, if you know who you're going to, you can make a 4L60E strong. You can say what you want about it, but I got proof right here that it can be done. And I'm not saying that stock 60s are good because they're terrible, but if built by the right person, they can be good. And I promise you that burnout truck trans is gonna be good. So we got all that built. Uh, we replaced the U-joints in the drive shaft because that would, it would be terrible to break those during the burnout. So those are new. That's a little bit of preventative maintenance. Uh, we are currently still looking for a locking rear diff. We still need one, like out of the cat eye here. This weekend, I'm hoping we can find one in the scrapyard if we can't. Oh, we're, we're getting close. We're getting really close on time, guys. We're down to like three weeks so that thing needs to get ready. Uh, this week, this like the rest of this week, I'm going to be prepping it for paint, so body work and stuff like that. I'm hoping to paint it next week. The weekend of like the March 21st, I'm hoping to have the reveal video out to you guys of the burnout truck and what that's going to be. That's going to be it like done. Paint wheels, the ride height done, the interior done. Um, I just had my boss, shout out to him. He come out here, the harness bar wasn't right. You know, I had to modify it. He, he's done circle track racing and racing for years and years. He knows what he's doing. He came and picked up the bar and did measurements. We're completely re redoing the bar. It's gonna be a custom bar in the back. I, it's all coming together. We're running low on time, which this isn't even right. It's like 21 days now that we filmed. It's coming together. I'm scared and I'm excited all at the same time, but the, it's going to be epic. I promise you, we are, the, I like I said, got the wheels today, but you gotta wait for the reveal for that. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait for the reveal. I can't wait to rip it. 
But that's kind of the fill in for where you guys have been absent for about a week or two. So let me help them finish getting this drive shaft in. We gotta put trans fluid in it and we're gonna start this thing and we're gonna take it for its first rip. Okay, so right now I just put a little bit of coolant in it. We're getting ready to start it and let the, see if it'll go in gear. Gotta get fluid through it and then add more fluid to it. It doesn't have enough fluid in it. Uh, they, the guy that built it recommended we put like seven or eight quarts in it, start it, see if it goes in gear, then add the remainder. It holds 13 quarts total. Got about seven quarts in it now. So we're gonna go ahead and start it and see if it goes in gear. We, we're ready. Hey, look at them new harnesses. That's pretty sweet. It's not, uh, they're not hooked to anything. It's like I said, the bar has gotta be made. All right, let's see if he'll start. We're probably gonna have to get the jump pack, but we'll see. Definitely need a jump pack. Um. Oh yeah, it sucked a lot down. Oh yeah. Reckon. Oh, I hope we don't sink over here. When does it shift? No, it just did? That's smooth. That's drive. Remember he said that he only yeah. let it grab one clutch plate. <laughs> oh, it, it's quick to grab the gears. So I'm sorry I wasn't commentating during the footage there. You can tell our extreme excitement and you could hear it rip. I mean, it is awesome. The trans was the whole issue. It doesn't slip, it doesn't miss, it shifts just fine. And <laughs> so without a locking diff, there is no traction. I mean, you if you get on it at all, it spins. And if you just hold it wide open, and you, if you punch it and drive, it, it spins all the way into third. I mean, there's no traction. It is insane. So what I'm gonna promise to do is stay tuned. Next video, we're gonna take the burnout truck out, and we're gonna do the very first burnout with the burnout truck. Well, minus the little skin thing we did with yeah. the, before the 4.8 locked up yeah. completely. <clears throat> but the first, you know, with new engine, Burnout. So stay tuned. That's gonna be the next video. I promise. It'll be in the daylight. We'll actually you'll actually be able to see what's going on, and we'll we'll rip it for that. So appreciate you guys watching. Uh, still got a lot to do to the burnout truck, but 
There is some yeah. stuff that can get crossed yeah. off today. Literally. All right, so we got U joints. Hang on, here's the little pin. So you can take the U joints off. You can mark wheels, off. wheels. Wheels and tires. Uh, we'll just leave we'll tires. Just leave, well, no, we we can we'll just cross it off and make ourselves feel better. All right. Um. So yeah, we got. <clears throat> That's gonna be. Hopefully, we can get to the the next thing. Yeah, at, at, while we're getting everything prepped. Harness bar, uh, we'll probably have that this weekend because he'll have that made. Uh, gotta order the roll pan, gotta order nitrous. I'll order that at the end of this week because it's pay week, so I'll go ahead and order that. We'll have that. And we're gonna be working on paint, so we're getting close. 20, is it 24? I is it, think. It's 20, so 20, 21 more days, Question 20 mark. something. We're, we're getting close, we're getting really close. Yeah. So progress is being made on the burnout <laughs> truck. Stick around, stay tuned for that next video when we do the first burnout. I appreciate you guys watching as always. You got something to add? We are so excited that we finally got this thing able to rip and I can't wait to do the first burnout in it. I cannot wait to see all y'all at Cletus and Cars. And uh, thank you guys for watching and keeping us, you know, motivated to do stuff. Motivated and wanting to do it. So this was a big spirit uplifter with everything working today. So we're in great spirits. Can't wait to rip it. Thanks again for watching. Go follow me over on Instagram if you're not already, at Austin04 underscore Z71. Take care, have a great day. All right, so I don't know if you guys remember, but the old Barry the Bat back here, he has oh he God. has returned. He wasn't here and now he's back. So he, he's joining us again for another episode here on the Info Tag. If, if we ever stop making videos, Barry ate us. Yeah, probably. All right, see y'all.